The doctor called me with my prenatal lab results. She told me I had hepatitis B. I had never even heard of that disease. I felt so scared and alone. What will happen to me and my baby? When the health worker from Alameda County came to my house, she explained that hepatitis B is a disease caused by a virus that attacks the liver. She told me that it's spread through blood and bodily fluids, and that some people show no symptoms at all. She said there's no cure for hepatitis B, but it can be treated. I had lots of questions, and she answered all of them. What is hepatitis B? It's a virus that attacks the liver. What do you mean by spread through blood and bodily fluids? Fluids pass from mother to baby during the birth process, sharing needles, unprotected sex, pre-chewing food, or sharing personal items like razors or toothbrushes. Is it spread by sneezing or coughing? No. Holding hands, hugging, or kissing? No. Sharing dishes? No. Is it spread through breast milk? No. What symptoms should I watch out for? Jaundice, which means yellowing of the skin, being tired, abdominal pain, loss of appetite, nausea, vomiting, or joint pain. My friend asked me what was going to happen to my baby. I told her that my baby doesn't have hepatitis B while he's growing inside of me. I can keep him from getting infected during delivery by making sure he gets two shots right after birth. He'll need follow-up vaccines from the pediatrician too. Then he'll be tested to see if he develops protection against hepatitis B virus. My friend had some questions about the details. What are the two shots he'll get right after birth? The first one's called hepatitis B immune globulin, HBIG, and the second shot is the first dose of the hepatitis B vaccine. Both of these must be given within 12 to 24 hours after birth. What about the follow-up vaccines? My baby will need two more doses of hepatitis B vaccine, one at one to two months and the other one at six months old. When the health worker made a follow-up visit, I had some questions about my family. I learned that my family and close friends should get tested for hepatitis B. If they test negative, then they should be vaccinated to protect them from getting hepatitis B in the future. I asked her what else I should do to stay healthy. She told me to follow up with my provider at least once a year. She had great advice about having a healthy lifestyle. These are some of the most important things I learned from my health worker. Go to all prenatal appointments. Make sure my baby gets his shots. Go for follow-up appointments with my provider and pediatrician. Make sure my friends and family get tested for hepatitis B, and if they are negative, make sure they get vaccinated. Avoid contact with bodily fluids and don't share toothbrushes or razors. Be healthy. Avoid alcohol, drink water, and eat a balanced low-fat diet. Exercise regularly, get enough rest, check with your provider about taking herbal supplements, and don't take Tylenol, and definitely don't smoke. Most importantly, I know that I'm not alone, and I have the support of the Alameda County Perinatal Hepatitis B Prevention Program.